And they tell us that the key to understanding the universe is the unified field theory. The unified field theory is a theory which is supposed to explain the relationship between the fundamental forces. The strong force, the weak force, electromagnetism and gravity. An example of that would be Nassim Harriman's work which proves that the strong force is a result of many black holes who are gravitationally keeping the atom nucleus stable. The problem is that even if we understand the relationship between the fundamental forces, that won't really further greatly our understanding of the universe. The real question that we should be asking ourselves is what is the field, what is the medium in which all these waves emanate? Most physicists would tell you that this is the vacuum or ether. However, that is wrong. Albert Einstein proved what the medium in which gravity manifests in is. He called it space-time. His exact words are, matter determines how space curves, curved space determines how matter moves. Or in other words, the presence of matter curves space-time. Curvature means regions of low and high density space-time, and that causes displacement in matter. So, things fall from a high density to a low density space-time. So if gravity manifests in the medium of space-time, all other forces have to follow. To sum it up, the fundamental forces are displacement forces caused by a density differential in the medium of space-time. But if so, then this would mean that matter is a state of space-time. Because, as we know, when you split an atom, all you get is waves. And if so, then space-time is the only thing that physically exists. Space-time is the fundamental building block of the material world. But the story doesn't end there. Because the final key to understanding the universe does not lie in physics, but in life. Consciousness does not originate from the brain. And looking at the question fundamentally, where does consciousness originate from? You only have two options. It originates from space-time or from beyond space-time. And the answer here is obvious. Consciousness does not originate from space-time, and therefore is not bound by space-time. You are bound by space-time, because your consciousness, in the state that you are in, is bound by your brain, which is made out of space-time, and it is bound by space-time. Space-time is the illusion that consciousness creates upon itself to experience anything different than a constant. Consciousness is existence itself, and it is inevitable. And of course, you have no reason to believe that we have separate consciousnesses since consciousness can be everywhere and always in every biological entity in the universe. We are all one. The purpose of it all is to enjoy and love. But in order to enjoy, you must first understand. That is why learning plays such an important part in love.